Hi, it's Matt with QuickRegisterSEO.com and CoolMarketingSoftware.com and I've got some new free software that shouldn't be free. I should make you buy this, <laughs> but I'm going to give it away. It's Website Crawler 3.3 Pro. And what this software does is it scrapes websites. Why do you need to scrape a website? Here's one thing the software can do. Say you're looking for popular blog posts of your competitor and you want to download the URLs of all the blog posts of your competitor, this software will do it. It'll, it'll, you can type in a blog post. I'll type in a blog, I'll type in my blog here. Okay, and now what I do is I go over here and I click, I go up here to the left, I click run. I want to go fast it's multi-threaded so it'll go fast and now it's going to go search my blog for all the different um, blog posts on this blog now you have to might wait a little while you see here we got eight count eight results here but to let it go for a while and you get hundreds of them it's going to give you every single blog post on that domain every single page on that domain. Doesn't that just have to be blog posts? If you want all the URLs on a certain domain, maybe your competitor's domain, or maybe your domain and you want to ping these URLs, you have some SEO work you want to do on your different URLs, this software will scrape all that information and save it for you in a nice, clean um, CSV file. All right, I'm going to stop it right now. I'm going to click Save Results. And I'll just put uh, test that CSV. It has to be a CSV. Save. Here we go. And I didn't let it go for very long at all. You could go get, go get a cup of coffee and let um, come back, and you could have hundreds of them depending on the website. And here we go. It gives some some of the uh, here are some of my blog posts, and it also gives some links that are on that blog post. You can manip manipulate that data later if you want for your own purposes. If I let this go, it'll give me every single blog post on my blog. It'll scrape it. And that's great for analyzing. If you want to analyze your competitors' blogs and see which ones are the most popular, you can go and put these URLs in a software which will tell you which ones are being shared most on social media. Matter of fact, I'm going to be coming out with a software that does that as well. Uh, there's always some, some out there. But this is what this software does. It scrapes everything off a website. You can do not only the URLs, it'll scrape the URLs, it'll scrape emails. Okay. If I want to scrape all the emails off a page, be careful how you use that. There's some legalities with that. Okay. So just be careful where you are, how you do that. But you know, it could be off of your own pages, right? You click here. Don't worry about what regex means. Maybe, you know, maybe you don't, you don't have to know what that means. Now I do this. It's going to scrape all the emails off my website. So I'll let it go here. And it's going to scrape all the emails off it. It's going to keep searching here. Okay, I'll just stop it. Click Save Results. Test 2. Test2.csv. And let's see what it got. And again, I just let it go for a second. I didn't sit here all day and, and let it go. You know, if there's, if you got a page with lots of emails, it'll give you lots of emails. You know, uh, if it's a page with, um, just a couple, you get a couple here, scrape the emails and it tells me the URL where it's located. And you could do this with any website with the software, scrape all the emails. You could also scrape all the images. If you have a, a web page with proxies on it, you can scrape the proxies. You can scrape phone numbers off pages. This is just a basic scraping software, which can be used for multiple uses. It's just a tool. You could scrape all the files. You know, if I, I want all the files here, I'll click this, click run, and it's going to scrape all the files off my, off my website. If I have a PDF, if I have a downloadable file, it's going to scrape it. Okay. I just let it go for a second. I'm going to come here and see what it got for me. Test three. At CSV. Again, this is totally free software, folks. It's is very powerful. Because I could put 50 URLs in here. I could put 100 URLs. I could scrape all the UR, the URLs from a website, all the blog posts from a super popular blog, put 
then re-put them up here and get all the emails or get all the files or get all the phone numbers. You know, it's up to you to use it creatively how do you how you want. Um, but this is a pretty actually pretty sophisticated scraping software. Okay, let's see if we got some files. I'll go test four. Test four. This is scraping software, you know, so it's up to you how you use this tool. Um, you could use it on your own site, you know, to do uh, an analytical work on your own site. So here, it tells me off of quickregisterseo.com. I got this link to a PDF. Yeah, this is one of my PDFs. Okay. Fantastic. So you can scrape emails. You can scrape images. You can scrape uh, proxies. You can scrape um, files. You can put your most popular, your competitor's blog post in here, scrape it and go analyze his posts and see what posts are working, what posts are not. And you can use that for content for your videos. You can use that for content for your blog posts. Um, it's a really handy tool. You can use proxies. You can put a user agent here. That's usually something like Mozilla. That's not necessary unless you're doing really heavy duty, um, you know, scraping especially if you're scraping your own site, it really doesn't matter, but you can use proxies. Um, you know, you, if you're doing a tremendous amount of scraping on one site, if they saw the same IP, they might block you. I mean, I think it's pretty remote. It depends how you use it. You can also um, whitelist, uh, you know, URLs by content, URL, title, inner text. You can do more advanced uh, scraping. Um, you can blacklist certain things if you don't want information which contains a certain text, which contains a certain URL, which contains a certain title. You can uh, discriminate between what you scrape with that. So it has some pretty uh, advanced features. You can exclude subdomains if you don't want any subdomains. Up to five threads. Uh, threads. It's it's quite fast. It's like the timeout. If you want, if the pages are slow loading, put a higher timeout. This is up to you. But basically, what this software does, it scrapes all the URLs and or all the emails or proxies or files or images off of pretty much any website. And you can use that information as you wish. And this is completely free software. So how do you get this software? First of all, if you click the link in the description below, you can get this software plus $597 of other software pro marketing software this is software i could sell all right that people would pay for but i'm giving it to you for free for joining my list you join my list you're going to get a download page where you can download this software and 597 dollars uh, worth of other software what other type of software we have we've got classified ad submission software lots of it we've got keyword uh finding software and uh, other types of seo software that you can use so you know, go ahead and click the link in the description below. If you haven't done so already, join our newsletter, confirm your email address, then you'll get an email with the download link and any problems you can email me. I'll get you the link. Okay. You're going to get it. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, and you get this website crawler 3.3 pro, uh, software, free software from coolmarketingsoftware.com and quickregisterseo.com can help you with your SEO, can help you with your marketing. It's up to you to be creative and of course use this uh, ethically because it is quite powerful software. Uh, thank you so much. This is Matthew May with quickregisterseo.com, coolmarketingsoftware.com. If you're interested in getting more free software, SEO tips, affiliate marketing tips, subscribe to the YouTube channel as well as join our newsletter and it will be forthcoming. So happy marketing. Hope this works out well for you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments area and I'd be glad to help you out. Thank you so much.